Today is the day of Pentecost. For Christians, Pentecost is a holiday on which we commemorate the coming of the Holy Spirit on the early followers of Jesus. Before the events of the first Pentecost, which came a few weeks after Jesus' death and resurrection, there, was, there were followers of Jesus, but no movement that could meaningfully be called the church. Thus, from a historical point of view, Pentecost is the date on which the church was started. This is also true from a spiritual perspective, since the Spirit brings the church into existence and enlivens it. Thus, Pentecost is the church's birthday. Lord, let us remember we're all your children. Lord, let us be as one. Let us remember we're all made in your image. Lord, let us be as one. Lord, when we can't agree. Lord, let us be as one. When we can't get along. Lord, let us be as one. When the little things irritate us. Lord, let us be as one. When we come to you. Lord, let us be as one. When we sin. Lord, let us be as one. When we pray. Lord, let us be as one. Help us support each other. Lord, let us be as one. Help us lift each other up. Lord, let us be as one. Help us to look around and appreciate the differences, and then... Lord, let us be as one in your sight. Amen. God, may this place truly be a sanctuary. May all who come here find peace. May all who come here find inspiration. May all who come here find you. Let this church be like your own arms, open to receive the lost and the wandering in an embrace of your love. Thank you. 
Almighty God, you poured your spirit upon gathered disciples, creating bold tongues, open ears, and a new community of faith. We confess that we hold back the force of your spirit among us. We do not listen for your word of grace, speak the good news of your love, or live as a people made one in Christ. Have mercy on us, O God. Transform our timid lives by the power of your spirit, and fill us with a flaming desire to be your faithful people, doing your will for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The good news is that Christ calls us to new life and enables us to begin again and again and again and again. Friends, believe the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. We belong to you. You have given us wonderful gifts. The sunshine, the rain, the color of the sky, these are all gifts from you. You have given gifts to each of us individually. You have called us to be prophets, preachers, singers, artists, and leaders. We will answer the call. We will take the gifts you have given us and we will use them for your good. We will work together the way the sun and the rain work together to grow trees. We will hold each other up when we get tired. We will we will protect each other from the storm. We will guide each other when we're lost. We will follow Christ. He will lead us. He will keep us on the right path. When Christ appears, we will be full of grace. We will be, we, we will be new. We will be like him. We are the body of Christ. Amen. Holy Spirit, rain down.
his seed. No ear has heard, no mind can know what God has in store. So open up heaven, open it wide, over your church and over our lives. Holy Spirit, rest. Father God, even the disciples must have been confused. Your son died, he rose again, and the disciples had to ask, now what? We sit like the followers, God. We wait. Like children, we wait to be told what to do next. Please send your Holy Spirit into our hearts, Lord. Send the Spirit into our hearts. Unite us in the message of the, and the mission, God. Show us the way and we will go. Unite us in the Spirit and we will believe. Unite us in your love and we will love. We aren't the only ones praying either. Across the city, the state, the country, and the world, others are praying too. Find us together, Lord. Let us live as one. Amen. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth who comes from the Father, you will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify because you have been with me from the beginning. say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? I have 
said these things to you, sorrow has filled your heart. Nevertheless, I, I tell you the truth. It is to your ad advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin, because they do not believe in me. About righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will see me no longer. About judgment, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them right now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, He will guide you into all the truth. For He will not speak on His own, but will speak whatever He hears, and He will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you.
Sunday morning time slot between 11.20 and 11.25 a.m. Yeah, it's a bit boring, but what can we do? Our talk story today concerns what might just save your everlasting existence. But first, puppies. God's gift to YouTube or the devil's cutest distraction. Everyone knows that watching videos of baby animals is both soothing and meditative. But could those cute little devils really be distracting you from more important thoughts and contemplation? Aww, so beautiful. The reporter has come to the conclusion that a few minutes spent on YouTube a day is a godly gift, not a devilish distraction. Uh -huh. But now, to our main story, Pentecost. Many know this week marks the traditional Jewish festival of weeks. This year is a special year because we are celebrating a Pentecost that covers not only all places, but all time. Our roving reporter, Colin, is down at the festival now. Colin, what are you seeing down there? Well, I'm down here around all the preaching, and there's a lot of excitement. For the first time ever, not only are we able to hear God's word of, word of redemption in our native tongue, but also in the language of each age. Let's go now to the Charlie Chaplin from the 1920s era and see, see what's going on. I'm here to tell you all about the big cheese, Jesus Christ. This man is the bee's knees and the cat's meow. He sent the Holy Spirit down to guide me and my fellow teachers. You might think I've just been getting into the giggle water, but that's baloney. This is all God's plan. Swell indeed. Now I'll send you over to Maeve, who, who can tell us who, what's going on with the Bobby Sox Brigade. Thanks, Colin. I'm here with the Bobby Sockers of the 1950s era. Let's listen on what they have to say about all of this. <laughs> hey, Bean, I'm here to agitate the gravel and get the Jesus message out to all you cool kids out there in TV land. Follow Jesus and you'll be made in the shade. So nifty! So nifty! <laughs> Breaking in from the peace, love, practicum section of today's crowd, some major developments. These 1970s era folks are full of the spirit. Hey, did you catch my drift? God's love is totally groovy and we need to get the word out. So let's blow this taco stand and take this show on the road. Groovy, oh, man. Yeah. man! That's so one funky out. message. All groovy on this front. How about you, Mara? I'm live right now with the 1990s era Walkman Awakening. Let's see what they are talking about. Yo, home skillet. All those other preachers might be like, yo, talk to the hand. But FYI, Christianity is awesome. Jesus is cool, and all are welcome. Christianity is all that, and I can't do it. Throwing to you, Tess. I'm here with one final group that understands all the modern lingo. For now, anyway, the Gen Z gathering. <laughs> hey, guys. This isn't just a bromance. I seriously heart Jesus. He's about way more than first world problems. And you gotta join us. If you don't, you're gonna have serious FOMO. Hashtag Jesus is Lord forever. Hey, you are Tessie, Tessie, on my Insta. Insta. Hashtag Christianity. <laughs> Let me get that on my Insta. <laughs> this is Tess reporting for our MPC Youth Group News Hour. Hashtag back to the studio. It seems like the moral of the story is that God's message of redemption is for all people in all times and places. We can all hear the message in a different way, but ultimately the Holy Spirit can empower each of us to go out in the world and spread Jesus' message of love and justice to others. Well, that's all the time we have. For all of us here at MPC Youth Group News, have a pleasant rest of your Sunday. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God of love, thank you for this family. We don't all have to live under the same roof to be family. We don't have to share the same blood. This church is family. Family is there when you hurt and when you dance. Family is there when you are lost and when you have found your way home. God, this family is made of love. We don't have to agree all the time. We can argue with love. We can create with love. We can teach with love. That's what family is, God. You have given us one another, and we will cherish one another. We will cherish each moment we have together. We will be your family. Amen.
Righteous Savior, I thank you for being an all-loving, faithful, and everlasting God. Your word says that you do not show favoritism because you do not prefer one nation over another. As we go forth from this sanctuary and into our everyday lives, we pray that you renew our minds so that we can reflect your love to all people. We pray that you keep our hearts open and reflective of your love. We pray that you help us to remember that all are welcome at your table. Let us go in peace. Amen. Thank you. 